Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men confidently approach women to find the woman of their dreams. Now, gentlemen, this video is about how we can develop a true, honest, respectful, authentic relationship with another woman. And this is very entertaining, in fact. You're going to find Two and a Half Men Season 3, Episode 14, to be so entertaining when it comes to having conversations with women. So in this particular episode, Charlie is now dating Mia. Now, he had just broken off a relationship with a gal named Candy. Now, Mia turned in to be the love of his life, and Charlie was just getting very uncomfortable because they had waited so long to consummate their relationship. And Charlie was just wondering why. And a lot of men do, guys. And I've, as I've said in many videos before, wait a few months. Wait a few months so that the physical aspect of your relationship doesn't get mixed in or intertwined with the emotional side of the relationship. So let's fast forward in this particular episode of Two and a Half Men. Again, season three, episode 14. Candy comes knocking at the door and finds Charlie with Mia. Of course, she's upset. And Charlie, at the force and hand of Mia, tells Candy, I'm seeing somebody else. So Candy, who is a very attractive, very young lady, and Alan start to get together. Alan, of course, somewhat desperate brother, is totally infatuated with Candy. And why not? She's a beautiful girl. I call her a girl. She might be in her early 20s. Alan's probably in his late 30s. They start dating. Of course, Candy now is spending nights and days, oftentimes, in Charlie's house with his brother. Well, finally, Alan sends his young son, Jake, to bed. And he and Candy sit down on the sofa, and they're watching television, and they turn it off. And Alan looks at Candy and says, you know, why don't we sit and talk for a while so we can get to know one another? Well, Candy's not the brightest star in the sky. And so she's not really all that curious about knowing anything about Alan. She knows he's a chiropractor. She knows he's the father of Jake and Charlie's brother. And that's really all she cares about because she is extremely vibrant and excited about the physical aspect of their relationship. So they sit there in a very awkward, mm, not knowing what to say, what to ask. And eventually she just says, do you want to have sex? And they run off upstairs. So guys, this is one of the reasons I'm telling you that if you're really interested in an authentic relationship, what we need to do is be curious about the other person, curious about what they do, curious about what they like, curious about who they are outside of their work and outside of their family, if they have a family. And we want to know more about them as a human being, as an individual. And so guys, here's what I tell my clients is let's get curious and think of about three curious subjects or topics that you can ask questions about. Work, of course, everyone likes to talk about work, but talk about play. What are the things you like to do best outside of work? And if you were bored on a weekend, what would you do to get yourself unstuck? What type of activities? Me, personally, I'm not a big fan of bowling. If I was dating somebody who wanted to bowl every week or get involved in the league, I might do it if I really liked them, but I think I would get bored of it. Anyway, gentlemen, I want you to up your game when it comes to conversations by being curious and wanting to understand the person that you're ready to jump in bed with. Guys, I hope this video has helped you communicate better with women. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. There's some great videos out there that will help you get closer to finding the woman of your dreams. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in that next video.